This is looking so awesome. I love it. So we can see the actual air channel. Oh, wow. This is so detailed. I love the app. App is looking amazing. This is what it looks like before the emptying. All right. Check this out. Perfectly empty. Oh, wow. No way. There is not a single spot left. That is crazy. Powerful cleaning indeed. This vibrating mopping system is genius. Check this out. It's perfect. Got a new drip from Yidi. This is their brand new robot vacuum, the VAC2 Pro with a self-emptying station. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So as you can see, we have two big boxes. In the upper one is a self-emptying station. In the lower one, the robot vacuum. On this side right here, we have these two stickers. And it says self-emptying station. So yeah, let's open it up. Padding on top, then we have the paperwork, yeah, and that's the station, the bottom, then we have this part, we also have the vacuum bags, table, accessories, and then this will come out, and then we have the main part, so that was the first box, let's get to the second one, so we have more stickers right here, and this will just slide out, protective cover. This will also slide out more padding, brush, the cable, all sorts of accessories, the vacuum itself, and also the docking station. So there we have it. As you can see, there is a lot to it. In the box of the vacuum, you will get the docking station, the vacuum itself, of course, the paperwork, cable, brushes, and also this which is the mopping attachment. And then of course, in the box of the base station, you will get the station itself in two parts. Also the paperwork, spare bags, the cable, little screwdriver and other screws like these accessories and also this transparent plate down here. So let's check out all the accessories and the manual in more detail. So let's start with the vacuum. So first of all, we have the mopping accessory with all the tips in here. Also this. And yeah, as you can see, water reservoir inlet with this rubber cover. And yeah, this is what it looks like. This is the mechanism right here. And down here we have this soft quality looking mop. This fabric. Then we also get, you know, this brush that's, that will turn on the side. Looks like that. Then we also have the power cord. Good length, two meters, good two meters right there. Then we have the, the charging station for the robot, but of course we won't need it because we have the self-emptying station. But just that you know what it looks like. On the side we have this, that's the back where you can plug in the cable. And on the bottom we have this with this anti-slip surface. This is this stick, a sticky rubber, beautiful. And lastly, all the paperwork. So we have the instruction manual. We have important safety instructions. We have the declaration of conformity for the EU. And we also have the quick start guide. So let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the last page right here, there we have it. Live smart and live simple. So to recap the paperwork, the cable, the spare brush, the charging station and the mopping add-on. And now let's check out the accessories that we got with the self-emptying station. As I already said, we get a few spare bags. We get this little baggie with screws and a screwdriver. Transparent one, love it. We get this transparent plate right here. We get this power cable. It's a bit shorter than the other one, but still or around two meters. And lastly, paperwork, the same conformity, important safety instructions, a detailed instruction manual, and also the quick start guide. So there it is. That's the actual one. So one and two, three and four, and that's it. So to recap the paperwork, the spare bags, the cable, and the screw accessories and this plate. So done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then to a close overview. Just from the unboxing, I already can tell that the build quality is actually pretty decent. This vacuum is priced very cheaply actually, so it's very budget friendly. But what I can tell so far, the, the production quality, like the, it's actually really well made. So first of all, let me also get rid of these 
foam inserts right here. It's looking so good. That's awesome. So for the price, you will actually get a great set. The assembly is also super simple. So this will just slide in here and boom, done. But yeah, let's take a close look. First of all, we have the vacuum right here. So this will work as a standalone unit. So you won't need the self-emptying station, but it's an awesome addition, of course. But in any case, so on top, we have this camera. As you can see, we have the on and off button and we also have the logo. And the shape of the bumper, it's just looking so nice. And on the back, on the, well, on the other side, that's what that looks like. On the bottom, we have the front wheel, which is free to turn. We have the two pads for charging. We have this for the brush. We will insert this in a second and this will of course turn. Right here we also have the sensors. One here, one here, one here, one here. Tons and tons of sensors. Then we have the two wheels. And we have the main brush unit. And you can remove this cover like so. And you can remove the brush like so. This is what that looks like. So easy to disassemble, easy to clean. Also check out the details right here. And then right here we also have these two flaps. And on the back we have this detachable cover. Now it looks like this. That's the connector on this side. And this is also where the mopping add-on will fit in. So as you can see, these are the add-ons either this cover or this mop. This will just slide in from the back, snap in place as you heard. Sounds super snappy and awesome. <laughs> Always love that. Okay, and this is the thing with the mop inside. And now also let me reassemble the brush and the cover. Super simple, super intuitive, love it. And when I'm at it, let's also insert the spinning brush. Well, both brushes, brushes are spinning, of course. This will just snap in place. Let's also switch back to this for now. And lastly, on the front, we have this sensor unit. And it's hard to see, but in here is another camera. The bumper from the front looks like this. And it has two more sensors on either side. On both sides, we have these wall sensors. And then we have this, this removable cover. And the last vent this is, of course, for the air to get out. And this is actually not a vent on this side. That's the robot vacuum. It's looking, it's looking so good. Oh, I've actually forgot to show you this. That's, of course, important too. Right here, we have this brush, super handy. With this, you can easily clean the brush, just get out the dust and cut out, like cut out the hairs and all of that stuff. So great to have. Then right here, we have this. Great mechanism, actually. So this needs to point upwards. Then you can insert it and when you put it down it will lock in place so love that so right here of course we have the filter and this filter is also removable and usually you can wash these in front of the filter is another filter for the yeah of course so as you can see right here you can wash this stuff so it's great and this is what it looks like and as we saw the flaps on the bottom this is actually where the self-emptying station will suck out the dust. And this is where it will enter this box from the vacuum. So through this hole. And there is also this little, like this check valve in here. And now it looks like this. Then right here we have the QR code for the app. And also a switch. Reset button, Wi-Fi symbol. And we will get to that during the setup. And yeah, so far so good. And here we have the self-emptying unit. So this is a bit bigger. Okay, it's way bigger actually. So starting here, we have the actual docking station for the robot. It will end up on here. This right here is where the dust will get sucked into the station. We have a rubber seal right here. Then this is of course for charging it. And then I'm assuming behind this black surface, we have more sensors to guide the vacuum in the perfect position. Okay, let me remove this again once again so the connection point looks like this with the sensor on the bottom we have details so check it out right here this is looking so awesome i love it so we can see the actual air channel like the two air channels where the dust will get sucked along and up into the bag in the collection bag and we have these 
anti-slip pads on the bottom so this will be super stable on the surface and then the top unit looks like this with a dust tube and actually right here are threaded inserts so after connecting it to the plate well to the base we actually need to insert screws from down here that's why we got the the little screwdriver and now on the back first of all we have the port for the plug-in power you can also wrap around the cable right here nice feature nice to have other than that as you can see the back side is blank it's beautifully rounded the same goes for the front yeah and lastly we have the top with the brand and also this little symbol right here like this pattern click it and it will pop open and that's the lid from the inside and it has well that's the mechanism and inside here we have the bag you can remove it just like so and in here we have the motor that will suck out the dust it will enter through here and the dust bag also has a little neat mechanism to close it up basically when you pull it out it will close up this hole so everything will stay inside this whole thing is spring loaded so this will slide back then you can insert it it will click in place and this will create the seal and that's that simple and intuitive gotta love it and on top we also have this nice pattern right here so this way you can see it better nice good stuff now let me tell you all about the specs and the features let's start with the vacuum this is the vac2 pro with 3d obstacle avoidance visual mapping technology 3000 pa suction power on the bottom a multi-surface main brush then on the back you have the dummy insertion that you can replace with the oscillating mopping system they call it the dummy tank side brush right here on the bottom we have a carpet detection sensor, a floor tracking sensor, so all the safety features. Inside we have a 5200 milliamp hour lithium battery and it is of course compatible with a self-emptying station that you can buy separately. And when it gets to this self-emptying station, it features a 1000 watt self-emptying system. It's a sealed design. Inside we have a 2.5 liter dust bag and the noise is less than 80 dBA. And these are all the details for the self-emptying station. And here we have all the details for the robot vacuum. Not not bad, right? And now let's see what this thing can do. Let's test it. I already assembled it. There were just three screws, super easy. And this transparent sheet, you can mount this underneath the base, just like so. And this is if you place a docking station on a carpet. But I won't need this, it will snap in place. It's like a puzzle piece, but I will have it on this hard floor. So this cable goes in here on the back side and this is also super handy as you can see I wrapped it around a few times and now the cable is way shorter and it's now plugged into this outlet so we are ready to go let's turn on the vacuum that's the switch easy as that so there we have it and now it's nice so yeah now it's time for the app so let's type in yidi so here we go the publisher is yidi technology limited you can't go wrong there is only one app so let's download and install it so here we go let's open up this app so my region would be austria language is perfect let's agree yeah now let's create an account so that's the mail if you're wondering yeah now let's add a robot allow the camera and now let's scan the qr code it is this code right here there we go yes of course so we already did that i've switched it on next short press the reset button for one second ready for network setup all right i've heard the sound now let's connect to a 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi network so next oh that was actually helpful there was a space <laughs> all right now we need to click generate the QR code and then scan it with the camera. So, okay, let's do it. Scan successful, connecting to the app. I just turned off my super bright studio light just to be safe, but yeah, I've heard the sound and now we can rename it. There we go, done. Okay, so now downloading. So after the download, you will be greeted. Nice to meet you, I'm Yidi's first smart vacuum and mopping robot that can avoid obstacles. So first of all, we need to map the flat. So let's click on next. Do not disturb, sounds fine to me. All right, let's click on start now. 
And also there is a firmware update available. So let's check it out immediately. It's always recommended to keep the firmware up to date. So let's update it right now. Oh, oh, it needs to be charging, right? So I will just take the robot vacuum and place it on the, on the docking station manually. Perfect. So now if I click on the robot vacuum, oh wow, there is so much to do now, but let's go to the settings, to the firmware update. And now we should be able to do the update. Upgrading. Please wait. Perfect. So of course you must not turn it off and just leave it be. Let's just wait for this to complete. Update successful. Starting charging. So we are done. And now let's go back. Perfect. So we are at 1.6.9, looking good. Automatic update is fine. Yeah, and while we're at it, let's check out the settings. You can rename it. You can check the records. We can check out the accessory usage in detail. That is so cool, so helpful. There are even, oh wow. This is so detailed, I love the app. App is looking amazing. Mopping pad, dust bag. The robot vacuum will automatically detect the docking station and switch to the self-emptying mode and also other components right here. Keep it clean to keep it efficient and the self-emptying station. Dustbin cleaning is not necessary for up to 30 days. If you have a small flat like me, this goes for way more, for way more days. So in my case, this will hold up probably two to three months. There is also in an overview about the accessories usage. Of course, there is a detailed help section. You can download the manuals and all of that good stuff. Advanced settings, we can check the time zone. So I would need this right here. We can check the serial number, network information, and also area unit. We can switch that from meters to feet. And also we can click on yeah, and as we can see, the VEC2 Pro is all set. And for the first run, as I said, it will be all about mapping and it's recommended to start it in the quiet mode. This will preserve the battery. This is not for cleaning, it's just for mapping the flat. And this is especially important if you have a really big flat. So let's go for it. So we are at 90% state of charge. Vacuum power, let's go for the silent mode. Cleaning settings, edit map. Let's start the mapping. So yeah, let's go. Open doors and clear obstacles. I have, I've already done that. And also my flat is fairly robot vacuum friendly. Actually it's extremely robot vacuum friendly. I have 3D printed covers for these rolls for my bed and all of that stuff. So all the sharp edges and corners and stuff like that. Well, the robot is protected from crashing into any sharp objects. And oh yeah, we also need to turn on all the lights because this isn't LiDAR based, this is vision based. And you know, for vision, you need lights, it makes sense. And yeah, we will also of course watch the robot. Let's do it. So yeah, this will of course take a while. So we're done with the mapping for this demo. I only let it map my living room and my kitchen. I walled off this area so that we can go through faster cleaning cycles. Yeah, and now that we have the map, we can of course edit the map. We can set boundaries, we can divide the map. So let's try that. You can also merge different rooms, but that's all right. And we can also label areas. So this is the living room, perfect. And now we can click on area or auto or custom. And this is useful if you just need a spot cleaning, as you can see right here. And for this demo, we will use this mode. So check it out, that's awesome. So right here, So I just clicked on auto empty and this is what that sounds like. So now we have experienced this too. And now let me set the vacuum power to the normal or like, yeah, right there standard. That should be good. Yeah, now let's just go for a little cleaning test and let's go. Perfect. Starting 
So here we go. And as you can see, a new map has been created. So it had to do a cycle. And now the everything that I did, it has now been updated. Perfect. And by the way, if you click on recharging, love it messages cleaning complete so yeah you can set the now you can set the cleaning sequence a cleaning schedule and the cleaning settings right here oh yeah let's do this for a carpet of course so for the first test let's test the suction power of the vacuum or like the vacuum cleaning capabilities for this i laid out a few debris and again we're in the custom cleaning mode and now let's see Let's check the, the tank. So this is what it looks like before the emptying. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness. Check this out, perfectly empty. So that is a great first test. Let's of course also test the mopping capabilities. And for this, we need to take out the dummy tank. By the way, check this out snaps in place so nicely anyways and then here we have the mopping accessory switch to vacuum in mopping mode yes sir but first of all we need to fill switch it up to vacuum mode. right here so one second i will fill this up i will be using this syringe it's almost full 150 milliliters so actually that's that should be enough okay let's close it and it's now filled with water so There we go. And for this test, I have placed a few nasty ketchup drops. <laughs> and as you can see, it's splattered everywhere. So I'm counting on you again with the custom mode. Let's do it. And now check this out. This is what the mob working looks like. So awesome. Oh yeah. So here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's completely gone. That is working way better than expected. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh wow. No way! There is not a single spot left. That is crazy. That worked out perfectly. Powerful cleaning indeed. This vibrating mopping system is genius. Check this out. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm curious about the what the mop will look like. Okay, let's see. This is what the mop looks like now. Okay, so obviously need to wash it. Yeah, but other than that, that is so dope. So as you saw, you will get super powerful cleaning with the unique oscillating mopping system. So you can scrub all sorts of floors with this vacuum, love this feature. As you saw, the vacuum itself is also super powerful. 3000 PA suction power. I don't have a carpet in my flat, so I can demonstrate it, but when it will detect the carpet, it will power up to the max. And also when it's in a mopping mode, then it will avoid carpets. And it also has advanced 3D obstacle avoidance. So this will be the last test. So I just placed the mopping accessory right here. And now let's see about the object avoidance and let's go. Check this out. The vision system is working really good. I love it. No problem whatsoever. Nice. Wow, that worked out perfectly. So one more cycle of self-emptying. I will now go and wash the mop. Yeah, and lastly, let's check out the self-emptying station. So press and it will pop open. And just like this, we can remove the dustbin, well, the dust bag, and yeah, check it out. It's all in here. This is perfectly clean. Exchanging this is super easy, but there is, of course, way more capacity in this one. 
So the self-emptying station is definitely worth the money. As you saw, the emptying worked out perfectly fine. So this will save you a lot of time. And if you have a rather small flat, you can go months on end without worrying about it even touching it. And aside from the customizable cleaning options, the smart visual mapping and navigation system, you can also integrate this vacuum in your smart home. You can set up your cleaning sequences, your cleaning times for specific rooms and many, many more things. The app is definitely state of the art and has all the features that you need. So as you saw, this is a great robot vacuum with awesome capabilities. Self-emptying is always a great feature, always great to have as it will extend the time that you just don't have to worry about it whatsoever. The vacuum can work on itself, but the compartment, as always, it's limited. And with this, it just can keep going and going and going and going. The build quality all in all is great. And what's more, what's best, it's still budget friendly. This bundle, it, it's a great price for what you will get. Don't ask me how to do it. Check it out for yourself. So yeah, definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description. If you're interested, I will listen to the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.